Hi everyone! Today we are painting trees in a children's book illustration style and we are using kids paints and brushes from IKEA. I got the idea for the trees from a Maze Detective children's book and I tested out my nieces and nephews paints for this and I like them so I got my own set of Mola paints and brushes from IKEA. I did a little test and painted three trees on cardboard without priming the cardboard first and it turned out fine. The cardboard is a little warped but I thought the coverage was good. If you paint them on thick, priming might not be necessary. However, you'll see the difference between painting on unprimed and primed cardboard later in this video. The IKEA acrylic paints cost 9 euros it's a set of 8 colors, 50 milliliters each, 2 blues, 2 reds, yellow, green, black and white. It also comes with a plastic palette made of polypropylene. And the brush set has 6 brushes in different sizes, 3 flat ones and 3 round ones. And it costs 4 euros. The paint set also has a chart on how to mix different colors, but it only has the most basic things like blue and yellow make green and red and blue make purple. It doesn't take into account that the set has different hues of blue and red. I wanted to paint trees with different color combinations with no background. After the test painting I painted the actual thing on cardboard too, but I primed the cardboard with gesso first. The large flat brush of the set is good for priming. I painted an X on the back of the cardboard to hopefully keep the cardboard flat. After that dried, I painted two coats of gesso on the other side, one horizontal and one vertical. I used only the IKEA paints and brushes for this painting after the priming. I like the brushes because they're soft like watercolor brushes, most of my acrylic and oil painting brushes are hard, but I actually prefer soft ones for acrylic painting. The paints flow well even without adding water, except for the black one that's thicker and you need to add water for that. I used the medium sized round brush for the leaves and then later the small round brush for the tree trunk and outline. I started by painting the leaves the shape of the foliage and then adding different colors on top to make it look more interesting. Make sure to use colors that go together. For example, the lighter blue and the green make a nice turquoise and the darker blue and fuchsia or the colder red make a nice purple. You can also dab specks of color on the tree. Some of it will mix with the colors underneath and some won't. It makes the colors look more lively. I let the leaves dry a bit and then painted the tree trunks and branches. I want to scan and cut out the trees afterwards and arrange them into a pattern so I'm not painting any ground or roots for the trees. I added a black outline for the foliage and after the trunks were dry I painted the leaves that are in front of the branches. I dabbed paint on them so that some of the lines still show through. I added some white at the end for highlights and contrast. The paints stay wet for quite a long time, so you can keep blending them and you need to wait for them to dry to add details on top so that they don't accidentally blend in too. But if you want to continue painting the next day and you have leftover paint on the palette, I suggest wrapping it in plastic and putting it in the fridge. That way the paint will stay wet till the next day. But remember to wash the process after use with soap and water. I want to talk about these Mola paints from IKEA. It says somewhere in the package that they are acrylics. However, I noticed you can actually reactivate them after they've dried. I used them on a different painting and I accidentally lifted the paint that had already dried with a wet piece of paper. So I'm wondering, could these be gouache paints after all? I don't use gouache paints myself, so I don't know, but these paints behave differently than my other acrylics. And by the way, if you let the paints dry on the palette, you can just pour water in the wells 
let it sit for a while and then you can peel the paint off. I made a couple of trees with fall colors, yellow base and then dabbing the warmer red paint on it to make orange and leaving some of the red unmixed. I also tried different shapes of trees, oval shape, round shape, more wavy, branches curving up or curving down, straight trunk or a crooked trunk. After the painting was dry, I left it under a pile of heavy books to make it more flat. Now you can see the difference between the first rise on unprimed cardboard and the final one on primed cardboard. I think there's a clear difference in brightness and contrast. Although some of it might be because of the contrast between the white background and the colorful trees versus grey cardboard and the trees. To turn these trees into a pattern, I scanned them in 600 dpi resolution, then I edited them in GIMP to increase contrast and brightness and sharpness, and then cut out each tree and arranged them into a repeating pattern. I have more videos on how to do that. But this tree pattern is now available in my Redbubble shop on different products like wall art, clocks, stickers, notebooks, mugs and pillows. I'll link it somewhere on the video or in the description so you can check them out. Thanks for watching.